fellas? How's it going? It's all Raptor Jesus with another Kingdom Come play Good through. Day to you. Hope you're having a good morning today. Why did Sigismund burn down Scallets and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kutenberg? Why do you think? I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. Or King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, <laughs> built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it? Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these Cumans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Things haven't changed much, have they, fellas? <laughs> Sir Robart, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, Deserters and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. See if I can talk him into it, fellas. So, Robot, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take no. orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Might have to find my own way out of here, fellers. What do you think? Don't worry, we are safe. Ground. Safe? Sigismund and his heathen cutthroats will come out of the woods any time now. Uh, no one feels safe when a horde of barbarians comes out your door. <laughs> Good day to you. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful unpredictable. He abducts the king, raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. He is an unpredictable Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votava's your man. He's the local dealer, a skinny fellow. I saw him buy the granite. He'll buy anything that has any value and he'd sell you his own granny. <laughs> if he hadn't already sold her long since. 
Good luck to you. You could have waited for me. I'd have given you a hand with Sounds you. like quite the bargain. Hi, ladies. Good God. What happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. Sorry. Sigismund's visit this morning was pretty alarming, wasn't it? And no mistake. That army of his is enormous. It's a good thing Sir Divish is such a fine speaker, or they'd have squashed us like bugs. Take care. Have you seen them foreigners? The Crowmen? Aye. Them Crowmen with them. There he is. God be with you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. God be with you. Let's see, what do I got here? He's got some lock picks. Really should learn how to do that. Try to see if I can get two of these old fellers. Let's see, what do I got to sell? Yeah, these are like, what's his face? His clothes that I stole. <laughs> Pay my dad the debt. I'll probably keep that. See what kinds of foods I can sell. Let's have a word about the price. Aye. Try to get a little bit more for these things, huh? See if he'll do that. What do you say to this? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. Oh, yeah. See if you do this. What about this? That sounds pretty interesting. A little uh, less and I'll be satisfied. He's a hard bargainer, fellas. He wants 15 and a half groschen. I'll go for that. Made a little bit of coin. See if I can get out of this place now. <clears throat> Good health to you. I need to get out of here. <laughs> and I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Hmm. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in a shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. God be with you. Mm. Yeah, steal me a uniform, huh? I don't know how successful I'll be at that.
close this door. Try to be quiet. I'm gonna find a helmet. <laughs> hey! You've no business here. Clear off or you'll be sorry. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, there's gotta be a helmet or something around here, fellas. Hey! Something you're looking for here? No. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> hey, who's there? Yeah, and this guy is just like super hearing. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh, yeah, maybe climb it. <laughs> Should get a bow. I'm gonna need that. I think I could get away with stealing this bow at least. And maybe I'll maybe talk to some people or try to get a key. I guess I should have bought those lockpicks, huh, fellas? There we go. Let's get some arrows, you know. There's someone there. Man, there is no one. Oh shit! Book it, fellas. Dude, stop right fuzz. where you are. Yeah, they don't ever catch me. Okay, good. The whole keep isn't alerted when I commit a crime. That's good to know. It's only the guy that saw me do it. Uh, so hopefully, if I cannot flub up this uh, escape route, I have. Oh, you got me, fellas. <laughs> All right, let's try to run. Screw you, buddy. Is that a? Oh shit, he's quick. Oh, <laughs> now, now the guards are on me. Show this what you made of. Be a fun You're fight. dead. Boom. How do I surrender? <laughs> You're nothing but a thief. These guys break I my saw face you. Open. <laughs> This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Oh, come on, my friend. You know I'm in the service of Sir Radzik Kobola, don't you? Try your fairy tales on someone else. Uh, you cannot be swayed, fellas. That much? I don't have enough on me. Well, it's a jail cell for you, then. Well, well fine. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just... Jail it is, then. Hang out in a jail, I guess. You'll love it there. It's all set up specially just for the likes of you. Oh, nice. Give me all the things you stole, I so I can return them to their rightful owners. Legit put me in there for a day. <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoyed your time in our little establishment. Uh, not, really. <sighs> not much, actually. <laughs> Glad to hear it. And can I go? Go? I ah, you can, I'm sorry to say. Now bugger off and get yourself killed for all I care. That's one way to escape the castle, I guess, you just get straight up kicked out. <laughs> I was not able to get a horse, so I'm going to have to walk back to Scallops.
was wondering if I could load and it would just be too far back so I just gotta stick with it I guess fellas alright so these guys aren't gonna beat me up at least for being a crim <laughs> Well, on my way to my rogue playthrough, I guess. <laughs> guess I got some jail debuff from hanging in jail and day in jail, I guess. Day in the dungeon. It can't be fun. Guess I'll pick some herbs, though. I look like crap. <laughs> this will come in handy if I can find a merchant later. Gotta get my herbalism skill up. I want to try some alchemy later, but I'm betting it's gonna be expensive to start training in it. There we go. I can wash myself now. I don't look like a murder victim. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I'm just walking hey, up move it. who's there? God be with you. Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? Uh, you want Butter, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tomberg fish pot. He should be around the granary somewhere. Oh, I can't Take get care in there. now. I guess he's the only trader in this area. I think I have to go this way to head back to Scala to believe this is the way I, I rode all crazy. You know, it's hard to remember all those fine details. Too much adrenaline and such, fellows. Arrows on the legs and such. <laughs> well, let me pick that one. Oh, there we go. You just gotta come at the flower just right, you know. You can't just, like, yank it out of there. You don't wanna cut it at a slant so they, they regrow and such, you know. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the wonky game engine. <laughs> this game is really fun and can really good role playing mechanics. I like, messed up a lot there, fellas. So hopefully next time I'm not such a goofball, eh? <laughs> hey oh, fellas that's my video i hope you liked it and you commented down below if you had any suggestions all right i hope you're subscribed to my channel because it really helps me out with the feeding the algorithm gods but you guys have a good game next time all right and keep your shield on strong all right